This is my entry for the 2018 Hackaday Prize Musical Instrument Challenge. It's called the Teensy Beat Shield. It's built around a Teensy 3.6 and it features a microphone, power button, audio DAC, the same as the Teensy Audio Shield, headphone jack, volume potentiometer, additional flash, boost converter for power, LiPo battery charger, four encoders with buttons, 20 push buttons, and 20 RGB LEDs. It features a 320 by 240 touchscreen, and it can take advantage of the built-in USB capabilities of the Teensy 3.6 for audio output, MIDI, and serial connections. The Teensy Beat Shield is designed to address the lack of open source alternatives to the popular handheld synthesizers being sold today. It solves that problem by building on the Arduino compatible Teensy microcontroller dev board. Then it adds rich audio and user interface hardware in a small device that can be built at home, programmed in the Arduino IDE, and take advantage of existing sample code. I don't have a battery handy, so I'm going to power this with USB. And the USB will also charge the battery when it's installed. I'm going to plug in some headphones. And the audio will also be sent to my computer through the USB cable using the Teensy's built-in audio output capability. So I'll power on with the power button on the top. I'm not much of a musician, but I'm going to do my best to create something slightly musical for um, the sake of the contest entry. Um, we start up in a pause state here on channel 1, and I can manually lay down some instrument sounds um, and scrub through and add more. These are channel 1, so this is percussive sounds um, coming from the SD card. So. Maybe something like this, and then I'll play that. Not very original, but that's okay. I can also lay in sounds as it's playing in the grid. Then I can go back and manually fix this up if I want. If you don't, if I'm not happy with what I did live, um, so now, yeah, like that. Now I can play with the tempo if I want to. Speed it up, slow it down a little bit. Um, then I'll go into channel two play with some different sounds. This is a uh, waveform type sound. some other people will jump on board with the firmware and create some really cool things. I think this is a good start. <laughs>